Hey Haunters, welcome to our next Harry Potter creature vlog. This is the head of, if you can guess it, what we did two years ago. It's the head of Jafar. He still lives. So Jafar as the cobra snake is what we did. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform this head into this head. For the Basculus. Sorry, there's a shadow. There we go. So it won't be too difficult, and I doubt we're going to do Aladdin again. So I'm going to go ahead, rather than starting from scratch and having brand new foam and cutting it down, which wouldn't probably take too long, but to save time, we're going to use Jafar's head. Now, Jafar's head obviously looks very cartoony and looks exactly like Jafar in the movie as the snake. We're going to take this picture and we're going to transform into the basilisk. And that's not going to be too difficult. What we're going to do is we're going to extend the jaw. So we're not going to cut anything. We're just going to clay it so the mouth is longer and bigger. This is going to be kind of like the, the webbing part in the corner. I'm going to give them more teeth. We're going to extend the nose, flatten it out here, and the basculus has eyes further set back. So we're going to change that. We're going to give him more bumps. We're going to extend the bottom jaw, make it a little thicker. Maybe get rid of these little teeth here. And then have teeth all the way back up into the jaw and then we'll work on his body. But first is claying the head and that's not going to be too difficult. So I will show you the transformation in a little bit. Okay, here's what I have so far on the basculus. Extended the mouth, added more teeth, some good nostrils, Change the position of the eye a little bit. And let this guy dry. See if I want to add anything more. And if not, he's going to be good for paint. Well, sealant, then paint. And then we're going to work on his body. Okay. No longer Jafar. Now the Basculus. Okay, here's the Basculus. He is mounted up there. i have almost done with the head. <clears throat> As you can see, I already sealed and painted him. I'm not quite finished with the eyes. And I might give more details on the scales, but other than that, the head's all put together. And so I got a piece of wood stuck into his head. Here, I'll show you. I could swing around the back try to avoid the sun. There's a piece of wood and then I just cut into the foam. I already had this hole on the bottom but that was from when he was uh, Jafar. I didn't want to have to use that to put it on top of there. I kind of wanted his head sticking out a little bit so I went through the back and I cut a hole in there in the foam and then stuck the wood in there. It's in a good six inches so I don't think it's going to come off. I did have to weigh the 4x4 four four down with um, uh, sandbag but uh, I think he's a good height and uh, I got the chicken wire all wrangled up and uh, I don't really use chicken wire that often but I don't know if you can see it it's really kind of transparent in the <clears throat> in the background but um, I got hit right like wrapped around the 4x4 and the 4x4 is blacked out so you won't really see it and it's actually really big down here and I didn't have enough this was donated to me by a friend um, to do the tail but it's just gonna disappear in the bushes in the front of my house so the next step is I'm going to paper mache the uh, chicken wire and then I gotta do one more piece to connect up to the head I think I got one more piece somewhere in the garage a little piece 
and then uh, that'll be done and then I can paint him all and I'm not too worried about waterproofing him um, he's kind of going to be underneath the awning by the front door and I think with some paint it'll last for Halloween so but you can see the basculus so far sorry about the sun yeah he's coming along pretty good Jafar turned into him real nice I got his mouth really wide and and I kind of dirtied up the teeth I might put some green on there just to kind of get nasty and then I'm just gonna paper mache this next okay all the paper mache is finished that took some calisthenics I had to straddle the big section down here and then of course paper mache above my head I didn't have to really use the ladder I almost thought I had to because I can almost not reach the top but I managed to flap it over and get it onto there and once I got the top paper mache then I was able to attach the bottom ones because the gravity was pulling it down but I was able to manage to do that and so here's a side shot it's fairly attached to the head pretty good and then the body of course and then we have a very large section down here used a little bit of um you know perspective um to try to get his you know look look bigger than what he actually is he's about i think six feet tall or maybe six three yeah he's pretty tall but you know not so tall to me but you know to the kids he's gonna be pretty big so he's ready for paint so i'm gonna start slapping some paint on him and then get a one layer of dark paint kind of like the head and then we're going to come back and paint the the scales on him okay i used a really broad brush and i got the first layer of paint on the basculus i didn't get all the spots um because i was uh short of time but i'm gonna hit him with some black spray paint to kind of break up this mocha color that I I just had as oops paint which will work and then we're gonna put uh, paint on scales so this is just the first layer of paint we're gonna let this dry I'm gonna hit it with some black spray paint kind of model just like the head and then we're gonna go ahead and sponge on some scales and the trim that I was thinking of before in the last clip was force perspective we want to use a little force perspective on this guy so we made his his body a little thinner at the top and then made it really thick at the bottom so it looks like uh, he's taller than what he is so sorry about that i couldn't think of it i was thinking i was like ah, perspective nope that's not exactly it there's another word in there force perspective that's what i wanted so anyway there's the first stage you'll see more very soon okay so we move the basculus to the front of the house where he's going to live and I have to do the uh, um, scaling on him but he's very very close to being done and you can see his really large body here he kind of got crimped a little bit moved from the backyard to the front yard so I'm gonna fix that and you will see him finalized very very soon Okay, here's our final basculus. It's all painted up, kind of dry brushed his, his body. Try to get him kind of a molted scaly look. I'll have to black out those sandbags so he doesn't tip forward. But he is all finished other than that some cool lights on him and he'll be ready for Halloween yeah he is all done it's very cool very very cool I can't wait to put some lights on him and show him off yeah he's nice I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see him by the front door and his tail just kind of disappears into the trees and the bushes. Yeah, he's pretty cool. 
Jafar turned out pretty good as a Baskalis. Much better, I think. And I'll back up here so you can see. It's about, I would say about seven feet tall. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, on to the next prop. Thanks for watching.